While tragic and unacceptable events of violence occurred in the Holy Land, leaders and representatives of Christian churches in Jerusalem prayed for peace and justice during the Week of Prayer for Christian Unity, held on January the 21st to the 29th. Pope Francis, in his Angelus on Sunday, January the 29th, also called on the international community to find immediate solutions based on dialogue. We believe firm that the Holy Spirit is with us, guides us, and he can create peace and justice where we as human beings think it's not possible. But we believe it's possible, but we have to follow the call for justice and peace and to start and to work and hope for unity of all Christians here, of all baptized here in the Holy Land. From the upper room on Mount Zion, to the Marmark Church of the Syriac Orthodox, to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, to the Melkite Greek Catholic Church, together they prayed for the unity of all Christians and for a just peace in the Holy Land. Learn to do good and seek justice, taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah, was the theme chosen for these nine days of ecumenical prayer. God has given us a wonderful gift, the gift of the Holy Spirit, the Bible tells that the disciples gathered and prayed united in spirit. This is what we need today as Christian churches, to be united in spirit with one another, to pray together, because when we are united, walls come down, chains are broken and we become free. You will know the truth and the truth will make you free. It is not ours, but Christ's will, to be one as our Father is one. The Holy Trinity is the most beautiful example for Christian unity. My voice and prayer joins that of all the priests, religious bishops who prayed in Jerusalem. O Lord, make us one as you are one. Amen. Christian unity in the Holy Land remains a dream that must be realized in the hope that all prayers will lead to complete unity.